Hi guys, my name is Emily and today I'm going to talk about Her Every Fear by Peter Swanson. So this is an advanced reader's copy I was sent by the publishers. I received it through work. So Her Every Fear is the story of Kate. She is from the UK and her cousin, who she has never met, named Corbin, lives in Boston and they decide to swap apartments for six months. So Kate arrives in America and she's walking up to her apartment and someone is frantically knocking on the apartment across the hall from her door and her first thought obviously is, oh my god, the person in the apartment must be dead for reasons. So she moves into Corbin's apartment and she falls asleep and the next morning she wakes up and the police are there and turns out that her neighbor Audrey was murdered because, you know, Kate had a feeling that something bad had happened. Kate ends up talking to Jack outside the apartment building, a grieving friend of Audrey, and she ends up talking to Alan, the neighbor across the hall from Audrey. Between all of these perspectives, we sort of are looking at certain scenes from different angles. So we'll have something that happens entirely from Kate's perspective. And then the next few chapters, we'll have something that happens entirely from Alan's perspective. And it overlaps with what happens in Kate's narrative. So where Kate interprets something one way, we see another character then reacting and get inside their own head, which is kind of interesting. But overall, once it was revealed who murdered Audrey was kind of a tedious read. I have two pet peeves. One is the portrayal of mental illness. So right off the bat, Kate is established as a very anxious person. It works to undermine Kate as a narrator. Can we believe Kate on anything because she appears to be so unstable? And I'm kind of sick of that. It's like the recent train of books that try and align themselves with Gone Girl and Girl on the Train is to present us with an unreliable, mentally ill narrator and their entire vulnerability as a character is because they are mentally ill. And I just, I don't like that. I mean, in all the Mary Higgins Clark books I read as a kid, the main character was vulnerable simply because she was a woman and why should women be strong or anything? You know, her defect of having a vagina made her vulnerable to the attack of men. Now, because making someone vulnerable simply based on their gender is unacceptable, we have a mentally ill woman. So now it's totally acceptable for all of these women who are mentally ill to be vulnerable, to be instant victims. As a human who is critical of the treatment of other humans, I don't love this. I don't love this trend. My second pet peeve is the amount of feelings that everybody has, like totally irrational feelings that turn out to be logical. At one point, the police officer does something heroic because she has a feeling. She has this like gut feeling based on absolutely no evidence and it turns out to be correct. Everybody throughout the thing just has this feeling, like they'll make eye contact with somebody and they'll be like, I have a feeling in the pit of my stomach that something is not right here. And then it turns out that something is not right. I don't know how many people go through life with this sort of weird sixth sense intuition that when you make eye contact with your barista, oh, I have a feeling that you're secretly a psychopath. I just, I just feel that your demeanor or something about you just feels off. How many times in your daily interactions you interact with people, statistically speaking, we probably all have known and met somebody who has murdered somebody else that is the nature of the world, unfortunately. But do we have feelings about these things? Do we have this sort of premonition style feelings? No. Um, and that was one of the things that sort of broke the psychological thriller for me. I was already a little bit pissed off about the portrayal of mental illness, but then that everybody had feelings instead of science and logic. And I mean, I am not one to tote science as the be all end all, but I feel like when you're solving a crime, you shouldn't feel a person is guilty, you should prove a person is guilty. If you liked Gone Girl, if you liked Girl on the Train, you will probably like this. It is a fast paced read, but at the same time, when you're devouring, you do have to turn off your brain because it is problematic in really bizarre ways. And I'm curious how the mad community feels about the portrayal of mental illness in these psychological thrillers. If you have read Her Every Fear, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.